this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it allows you to know whenever we release new videos right here on the channel. Now also, if you're looking to get more involved with my YouTube channel, I wanna talk a little bit about my Gun Bunch Offensive eBook. Now, I'm gonna be sharing with you a preview or one of the concepts from the eBook today, but if you wanna get the full offensive scheme that I personally use in weekend league, in money games, when I need a win, it is the Gun Bunch by far and away out of the New York Jets playbook. It's the best offense in Madden right now. And if you want to get my full Gun Bunch ebook, it's on sale for just $15. And there's a link in the description that you can click on that will take you right to the place where you need to go to pick up the ebook. So if you want to get the ebook, it's just $15. And it, again, there is a link in the description. Now, if you have any questions about this video or anything in general related to Madden, you can always text me. My number is in the top right hand corner of your screen. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Z spot from the Gun Bunch, and this is truly just an amazing, amazing passing concept, um, especially with some of the recent patches making man coverage a lot less effective. You're going to see that these zone coverage beaters are super, super important to have in your arsenal. And this is actually a different setup than what I've been doing, and I actually really like this specifically against Cover 2 and Cover 3, maybe. All we're going to do is we're going to put the circle receiver on a streak, we're going to smart route the R1 receiver. And then on the left side of the field, what I personally like to do is I like to put the smoke screen out there to the square receiver, and then I like to put the running back on a smart routed option route, as you can see right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to motion this receiver out to the side. I'm going to let him kind of set his feet. You're going to see that if I kind of gently tap that uh, hype button, he's going to get a little bit of a turbo boost. And as you can see, you're going to be able to hit that R1 receiver. Those are 25 to 30 yard uh, cloud flats that you're seeing right there get right over the cloud flat and be able to make a read. Now let me show you the same concept again and I do want you to see here as you can see from my adjustments these are coming from the safety and the slot corner which is a lot better than if they come uh, from the other direction. So we'll just show you the same concept again. All we're going to do is we're going to streak the circle receiver. We're going to smart route the R1 receiver. We're going to put the running back or the triangle receiver on a smart routed option route and then we're going to put the square receiver on a smoke screen and motion that circle receiver with the numbers and kind of wait for him to kind of set up and then snap the ball and as you'll see right here again just pass lead that little corner route up and as you can see on the sideline it gets to the nice little tender area of the defense now occasionally they will be able to play that route as you saw right there and if they are able to play that route what you want to do is you simply want to throw it a little bit sooner. So let me show you that same concept again, but this time I just want to throw the ball a little bit sooner. And if you watch right here, um, you see again, it just gets right over the top, and that's really what we're looking for. Uh, we messed up on the previous play. Now let me show you how this works against Cover 2. Now Cover 2 will do a little bit better of a job uh, against this specific com uh, concept, but it still is going to be a very effective read against Cover 2 especially if you motion out this streak uh, to the circle receiver. It's going to help with the overall overall spacing of the play. As you can see right there, they're going to run, 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 run. And then you can basically check it down to the running back because those yellow zones are very likely to be dropped in a very vulnerable position uh, to the defense. Another thing that you can do with this, because you're uh, if you're if you're a smart bunch player, you're going to be running your gun bunch to the uh, wide side of the field, meaning your three wide receiver set is going to be to the wide side of the field. As you see here, the ball's in the left hash, so the bunch set is on the right hash. If the ball was on the right hash, we would want to flip our formation so that the bunch could attack the opposite side of the field. Uh, and what you're gonna notice here is if I take this circle receiver and kind of get him out here on this little fade, he's gonna do a really good job as well, getting space over the top. And then again, you have your curl route or your check downs on that back side. So cover two does a decent job at taking this away. Um, the one thing that I will say about cover two is what you'll notice is depending on, dep again, depending on their zone drop, it actually is very, very important what specific type of zone drop they set. But if you, if you can, you can actually, and of course right there, I, I got to throw out a sack animation. But if you can, what you'll notice is I can go ahead 
if I see a lot of cover two, which again, if they're if they know what they're doing, they probably will run, you know, a fair amount of cover two against bunch. Cover two is probably the, one of the best strategies against bunch. What you can do is you can audible over here to your verticals concept. If you know this is coming, you can motion that circle receiver out on that little uh, little wheel route. And now what you'll notice is you're gonna have a lot better spacing. And again, look at that crazy. This is why I have to literally spy the defensive pass rush. That was two people blitzing and still instant pressure. Um, so to show, share this with you again, we're gonna just kind of drop these guys back on just so that I can show you this route. But if you are encountering a lot of cover two, um, especially a lot of cover two where they have a significant amount of zone drops like 20 or 30 yards, then what you'll see is if you step up, you can just basically pass it to the right click on and, and have an opportunity to be able to hit that route. So um, that's kind of the answer that I would, the little short answer that I would have against cover two. Another thing that you can do, especially from the gun bunch in the Jets playbook, is you can audible to this play mesh, and you'll notice here that the corner route to the mesh on that circle receiver does a really good job at beating the cover two. As you see right there, it's wide open over that cloud flat. So there's a lot of things that you can do from this formation. A lot of it has to do with knowing the right time to call the right corner route against the right defense. But when you combine Z spot and mesh in combination with verticals and some of the other sets and plays uh, from this art school, you're going to be dominating people uh, in the corners on the sidelines. You're also going to be able to dominate them in the middle of the field with some of the route combinations that you're able to have from the gun bunch. So if you want to get that full gun gun bunch guide that literally walks you step by step through with video and written material to be able to share with you how to run this offense that ebook is available in the description of this video it's literally just fifteen dollars and it will take your offense to a whole another level thanks for your time i hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to pick up that bunch ebook it's just 15 bucks and there's a link to it in the description of this video